something that the majors can't do is what, what they do is they employ a massive uh, building and they say you have to work on this music. What we do is we try and find um, a, a smaller team of people that really care about each individual band. So the Young Lives and Foles have each got about 10 to 12 people working for them, but they're all freelance, so they like they really care about just that band, so they do a really good job. So we'll have a freelance press person and a freelance radio person for each band individually, so that they're just fighting for the one band that they really love and getting the best results for us across all of those different channels. I think, I think there are two ways to look at how we release our music, which is first, as, uh, as Tim mentions, apart from obviously it being created, is there's that promotional side which is just trying to excite the music industry. And what we call the music industry is this scary, horrible machine that basically filters out what people's tastes are. And this is a party of why we exist, because we want to promote artists that we're scared about entering this machine to spew their work out. So there's the promotion side, which is what Tim mentioned. Then thereafter, there's the distribution physically to whether we want to get our records out in shops or whatever, and we work with different people in which we do that. You know, from a shop like Rough Trade, which is legendary in London, and we'll just phone them up and tell them how many records, you know, ask them how many records they want, and sometimes they call us and go, we want this many, and so it depends what the needs are for each act, you know. But then this is this is the thing, so we can compete on like big chart things. We'll put it through the Warner's distribution system, uh, so that you know, so that we can get in the charts and go for that big thing. But then when we do a really small seven inch or or you know, for for Foles, for example, we just did a um, split with Holy Fuck. And Foles covered one of their songs, they covered one of theirs, and we just spray painted the front covers ourselves and the selling the shows and just through our mail order and stuff. So we just, depending on whatever the release is like, we'll we'll try and cater for it. And and I think being independent is is what what gives you that freedom. You can choose at which point you enter and use which aspects of the machine to to help get that music out. Yeah.